Hello everyone, how you going? And welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with no inventory. Now, as you might know, in this shulker box right here, we have finally got the Woodland Explorers map. You know, we have spent multiple episodes trying to look for the thing all around everywhere. And we quite frankly just could not find it for the life of me. But luckily, this guy, or well, of course it's nap time, but luckily this guy was able to bring me in the goods and provide me with the map I need. This moment has been a very long time coming, you know. We have finally beat all the bosses. We beat the Ender Dragon, we beat the Wither, and we beat the Elder Guardians. And now all we have left is to find and defeat the Woodland Mansion. So as nice as my little villager hut is, I think we have to go back to where it all started, you know, back to a humble abode. I'll grab my fireworks out to make it a bit faster, but yes, we're going back home. One last fly through the nether, you know, or maybe we're, or maybe it won't be the last fly, you know, maybe I just won't be able to find this thing, it'll be so far away, I just want to nether travel. Home, sweet portal home. We'll have one last snooze in my nice bed nook here, you know, it's been with us from the start. This place has been so nice to me, you know, from the first little bit where we just had this little corner in here to now expanding to this luscious mansion that we have, you know? With acreage to spare out the front, you know, we grow crops, we have animals, we have horses. This place is so upper class, we even cultivate non-natives, what can I say? But anyway, this was the random shulker that I made just to kind of carry stuff over, so I will quickly consolidate into here. You know, I'll have this one that's been completely empty and that one, yeah, kind of half empty. We still have obsidian and we've got that, so we are all set and ready to go. And look at that, our entire woodland mansion hunting loadout is complete. So, I guess the hope is to fly there, so I probably won't need my boat so I chuck that away, you know, we'll grab this back and then we can all get going. That is the direction we're looking at. I have no idea how far it is, but I guess we're just going to set off in that general direction. We have 49 fireworks plus, yeah, I think two stacks as well. So we got so many fireworks, we'll be fine. So I guess we'll head off from home with our final adventure, our final task. I'm sure I'll come back with something to add to the wall, but off we go. So yes, this is north and this is east. And so I guess I just have to travel this direction. I could just travel north for a while, I guess. It's actually quite funny, I reckon, because this is actually the direction. If we look at the map that I, oh, here we go. I got a turn, but this is the direction I traveled in the beginning. You know, as soon as I got my elytra, I went, okay, there's nothing over there, nothing over there, and I came from there, so I guess I gotta go this way. So unless I just somehow completely missed it in one of the ones I already explored, I don't know how that would be possible, but I reckon it's pulled a fast one on me and it just suddenly quickly spawned it in. At least now I know I just have to fly over here, you know. I have no worries about fireworks, we can go over the ocean, even though I always complain about not having a trident, you know, it's not too big of a deal anymore. Go down memory lane as we explored all those shipwrecks looking for all those Nautilus shells and whatnot. <laughs> Hello there, Vista Temple. I actually think this is a new one that I have not yet to discover. Don't give me mining fatigue, please. Yes, anyway, we, you know, we have defeated that boss. No need to bother ourselves with that kind of nonsense anymore. All right, so that's already about 3,000 blocks that we've traveled already. So at least I don't feel too bad at missing it, you know, because any little deviation off any... Oh, here we go. This is going to be it. There's no way that it's not going to be in here. Look how fat this forest is. Why couldn't I have found this one before? Actually, looking at the map, it's not going to be in here. Oh, my. My goodness, how far is this thing? No wonder I didn't find it. You know, even though I traveled, what, like 6,000, 7,000, 8, actually it was 8,000 blocks in the end last time. No wonder I didn't find it because any little deviation, what am I looking at here? My goodness, because like I was saying, any little deviation in my flight is just not going to work too well. But we'll just have a quick little pit stop for this crazy village. What the hell is going on here? We'll fly up to the top here. Let's see what kind of view they get. Can I land on this little block here? Probably not. Oh, 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 I missed it. Oh, this one? Yeah, this one will do. Man, what a place to live. This really is just the meeting of the world, doesn't it? Look, we got grass, you got desert, you got extreme hills, all of the above. But all I'm seeing really is just a launch pad. Nice village, everyone, but I've got to be on my way. Come on, surely we got to be getting close. Look at all the green area around. Eh, oh my goodness, surely this is the one. The dot hasn't gotten any bigger. Oh my goodness, how far away is this thing? I really don't feel bad at all for not finding it last time because, oh my god, the, if this is the closest woodland mansion, there is no way I would have found it last time. Look, we've now traveled over 5,000 blocks in the extra Direction. Finding some pretty cool biomes. I don't mind this biome. I think it's pretty cool. But it's still not what we're after, so to say. Oh, oh, the dot's getting bigger. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm hunting now. Where is it? Oh, I got a little excited by this village for a second. Imagine if that was it. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, yeah, no, the village is it. Uh, yeah. You spend all this time and you just end up at a village. Here we go. This is surely has to be it this time. I've said it so many times. It surely has to be it. We're coming now. Look at the size of this forest. Sure. Yeah. There she is. Look at Big Bertha in the middle of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Finally, we have found the bugger. Uh, don't mind me, skeletons. I just came in for a bit of a crash landing. Hang on. 
My elytra broke literally as I arrived. I didn't actually realize that it wouldn't just completely disappear on you, that it actually kind of just breaks. I cannot believe that it allowed me to get literally to the rooftop and then it broke. Wow, well, well then, I guess we'll shove that away. I won't be needing that now that I'm here. And here we go, we are ready to take this guy on. That is just unbelievable though, that they let me go. Literally, you saw me fall out of the sky. I was just so keen on trying to get here that I just completely forgot about the elytra even having durability. Now, should we go in the side or should I go in the front door? I guess we'll take it normally, you know, we'll go in the front door. If I can find it, you know, I think it was over here somewhere. Here it is, don't mind if I do. It'd be nice to have some torches around here, you know, in these darker rooms, but just not really gonna happen. Oh, my friend. Oh, you're coming at me with an axe, are you? Well, what if I come at you with... Oh, yeah, hang on, how did that go through your head? You saw that just as much as me. That went straight through his head. He's a real airhead, if that's the case. Now, as I've said for virtually all of them, you know, I'm not too worried about my arm or anything like that. I feel pretty darn kitted out, you know, if you've seen my armor, you know that it's virtually indestructible at this point in the game. Look, he what? He does what? Like, half a heart? I think that just was? I feel as though at this point, my least prepared fight was for the Ender Dragon. And we all know how that went all that time ago. It's so nice that they laid down the red carpet for my entry, you know? They know the kind of caliber of person they're dealing with when I rock up, so, you know, I'm glad to see they took the time and the effort to do that for me. Really, it's just eerily quiet at the moment. I don't know where everyone is. Maybe they're just cowering in fear on the top levels. You know, they've even let all the prisoners free. Where is everyone? So, I guess in that case, if they are carrying upstairs, it is time to go upstairs, isn't it? Up we come, here we go. What have we got in here? Anything? No, just a dining table that is not set and there is no meal prepared. How dare they insult me with not having any meal prepared? I guess I say they, but there really doesn't seem as though there's anyone around to be insulted. What are Endermen doing down there? What are you guys trying to get down the ladder and you're failing? Come on, out of the way. Come on, fight me if you dare. I know where you live, Mr. Enderman. I will go to the end and find your family. Here we go. He's come back. Those threats brought him back out of the woodwork, literally. Where is everyone? Are they literally just hiding on the top levels or something? Come on, I want a bit of a challenge, you know? Where are the vexes? Where are all that stuff? Here we go. We found the other staircase. Before we go up there, we'll have a little bit more of a look around, see if there's anything. Oh, we've, we've finally found the big statues. Here we go. I don't think there's really anything in the big chicken, but, you know, you can never be too careful. This might be a Trojan chicken. You know, they were quite upset. They saw me about to come up the stairs here, and then I turned around, so they couldn't launch the Trojan chicken on me. Oh, here we go. We actually have some real kind of Woodland Mansion mobs. There is everyone. Oh, you look at that. Would you look at you do half a heart with an iron axe? That is a shame for you, isn't it? I guess I don't really need my axe at the moment, so I'll shove it away and pick up some emeralds. Anyone in here? No, just darkness. Anyone? In Oi. See, out of here. Get out of here. Out of here. Everyone out of here. What do you think you're doing? No, Ned, another dining table that just isn't set. My goodness. I expected roast lamb and roast chicken on every single one, and they just are not delivering. Oh, we have a Vex finally coming to town, eh? Oh, well, hello there. See you later. Bye-bye. What, what do you think you're doing? Oh, someone's coming through the wall. It's me still. I eat steak now and become invincible. Wait, can you stop trying to shoot me through the wall? I think that's a bit unfair. Actually, maybe that's my problem. Here we go. Now I'll get rid of you. Then you won't cause me any problems with vexes anymore. There we go. See you later. All right, now I eat a steak again. But the thing is, it takes me so long to actually get down health. Uh, you know, I, I'm not, I wasn't even worried. I got down to three hearts and I'm not even worried about dying. Oh, I now I have to deal with all you little buggers, don't I? See you later. See you later. Oh, he's got the shot. Well, then that was short-lived for everyone, wasn't it? Another totem. Don't mind if I do. Because just look at this disrespect. Look at how many dining tables I haven't set. I just realized I haven't used my shield once either. Yeah, I've just been taking it on the chin. Surely that's not all that has to throw at me. Come on. This is the king seat. Right here. Look at this. Head of the table. Look, I just sit down right here. I would actually sit if I could, but it doesn't let me look. Is this the top level, though? What am I doing? Is anyone else around? I can still hear that there are people around, but it doesn't seem as though anyone's too keen. They certainly just witnessed how easily I just trampled all over them, haven't they? Well, then, I guess we are back to where we landed. So, maybe I'll grab my axe out, and we'll, I don't know, I guess we'll just break on out, because I can't see how to get into this room otherwise. What could be the meaning of this contraption, hey? You know, they're just kind of, they just have random stuff, don't they? Actually, I do think I have a bucket of water somewhere. Actually, no, it'll be in the, this one, won't it? There we go. Which one? One would be center. Uh, this one would do, I guess. Oh, straight through it like it's butter with efficiency five. Just add to my obsidian collection, I think I will. Get rid of this. See you later. Wool. Yeah, wool won't burn at all. No, that's perfect material for this. Just keep on mining down. There it is. That's what we want. We'll just get rid of all this lava. Don't you worry your face. I'm not going to let this diamond block go anywhere near the lava. Chuck this bad boy away. Give me that. Wait, 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 wait. And then the final diamond block, the final prize is... Uh, see, I don't know about you, but I feel as though doing that is definitely easier than having to complete the guardians and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. And I guess with that said, you know... That 
that is all she wrote. A nice empty glass box. You have already seen that it's a nice empty kind of entire thing in here. Not even a soul besides the odd creeper wanted to put up a fight against me. Here we go. We'll grab the elytra out. Here we go. Don't mind me if I do. Wear that and we'll just go looking for mobs, you know. Hopefully we can find a little, 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 little bit of, uh, you know, the experience and whatnot. Thank you, Mr. Creeper. You won't be in vain. Let's see if I can get any durability back on it. Well, there we go. It's already fixed. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Creeper. You have done your good service today. Actually, I guess I should just check in the cat as well because, you know, I didn't check in the cat. I checked in the Trojan chicken, but the Trojan cat might be a whole other story. As everyone knows, cats are trying to take over the world as is, so it only makes sense that they put in a cat. And also, we got this chicken on the second floor. Oh, well, hello there. I don't think so, Mrs. Skeleton. Come on, shoot. See what happens. I dare ya. Come on, do it. I don't know if that works too well. Here we go. We'll just do this. Here we go. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I actually, I do have torches, I guess. So I can try and light it up. Where are they? And here, here we go. We'll light up the whole roof. This is just me officially claiming this is my house. You know, no mobs will spawn here anymore. You know, look at these skeletons. They can't even shoot me. Oh, dodging everything left, right, and center. I bet the skeletons are going to start shooting the zombies instead of me. Here we go. Look, they're even having a civil war over there. Like I said, they would. Can I get him in the third person? Oh, I can. I'm just a god, honestly. See you later. See you later. Well, then, I think the roof is as good a place as any to build this uh, nether portal that we're going to be using to get back. Because you better, I'm not flying all the way back. That was about a 20-minute journey of just straight flying to get here. There we go. Nice and beautiful. Actually, I think I have a bottle of XP somewhere. Yes, here we go. All right, all right. We'll take our other armor off and use that and see what we can get ready. Or just to give it a little bit of an edge to the elytra. Now, what I actually want to do, because I didn't get to do it before, is go up and I'll grab my water bucket. So in case the elytra does break in midair, we'll go for a fly up and then I'll hopefully get MLG. But uh, yeah, I just want to go for a fly. Look at this big Bertha. Here we go. Ooh. There we go. Didn't it? Well, then I didn't get very far, and I certainly wasn't ready for the water because that was just instantaneously it broke. Uh, so sadly, we won't really have it, I guess, on the way home. But what can I say? It was an idea I wanted to try. I'll just never be able to see this full beauty from the sky, so I just have to appreciate it from the map. But anyway, with the sun rising, we'll head back home and whatnot. You know, we have thoroughly defeated this place, and there is nothing left for us here. How far away are we, and where do I have to run from? I guess I'll take a screenshot of those coordinates, so if I ever did want to come back here, I can. But uh, yeah, I guess it's just going to be a run home because sadly, the Elytra's broken. It, you know, unless I want to cull a few of these pigments, I don't really think I'm going to be able to get my Elytra back anytime soon. Ah, the big old lava pool. We meet again, my friend. I mean, if I've traveled kind of the same direction as last time, and if I can follow my path, that'd be great. I just have to find it first. I guess I might as well swap this out, just, for, you know, for the sake of it. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Oh my goodness, that was close. Oh yeah, music and hostile creatures might be helpful as well. Oh, it's just impossible at every turn. I actually feel as though the easiest way is going to be for me to just try and mend my elytra somehow. I mean, maybe I'll just sort of take quickly take off this. It's a little bit risky, so to say. Uh, but uh, I'll take it off and I'll just try and mine all the quartz I can get. I mean, it's also going to go to my pick, but at least I can then try and just get some back and just quickly then, I don't know, get a whole bunch back and fly over. Because really, the amount of time that it took me to make my way home last time when I just could have done this method, you know, instead, it'll be a good test to see which is faster because, oh, it, either way, I don't think it'll be quick. Actually, do you see how quick that's going up? This will be fine. This will be way faster. Faster. Oh my goodness, why didn't I do this last time? Look at this entire massive vein right here. Look at that, it's nearly half durability and I've barely done anything, really. So it's been like, what, a minute and a half, two minutes. Oh, wait, don't you start. Hey, get it, get him, get him, get him. Oh, that was close here. See if I can get his projectile back in. Oh, I missed it. Somehow my arrows seem to be just going through people. But yeah, it's been about two minutes and I've already got half an elytra back. I could fly all the way home on that. But just to make sure I can actually make the return journey, I'll just get a little bit more and then we'll call it there. There we go. That's a, I'll call it a three-quarter full elytra. That is definitely enough for me to fly. What was it? 700? Yeah, 700 blocks. There we go. I'll grab everything else that I need back out. Don't mind if I do. Thank you all. Oh, and my pick's fully repaired. Oh my goodness. What a life I live these days. Honestly, with Shulkus and Mending, it is just such a ridiculous change from the start of this series. It is, uh, oh, it just makes my day. If only you can get Infinity on a Mending on a bow, that would just be life complete. So, Mr. Lava Pit, you know, we had our thing last time, but, uh... I think this time, I think it was going to go straight over you, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you, Elytra. See everyone later. Oh, this is our fortress. We're already back home. Yeah, look at this. This is definitely our fortress. Look at this. I recognize all of this. Yeah, there's our cobble. Drive by with you. See you later, mate. Look at this. I haven't used this in so long, but oh my goodness. Oh, we are home. Would you look at that? How easy that is. Here we go. We'll whack those down. I grabbed that out. We need our item frame. Let's not muck around. After all this time, I just have to make one every time. 
we can finally say that we've beaten Minecraft thoroughly and completely with absolutely no inventory besides our hotbar. You know, it's taken quite a while. It's slowed us down. We've got some things like the Elytra that has really helped us out. I didn't also get some things like a trident somehow. You know, I don't know how many drowned with tridents I killed, but it just never wanted to give it to me. But all of that wraps up to this one diamond block right here, and that goes right there. My goodness, look at this wall. Oh, man. Between the Ender Dragon Egg, our first horse that we lost, you know, the last Wither Skeleton Skull Head, the Conduit that took us to victory at the Elder Garden Temple, you know, the beacon that obviously we got from the Wither, and now the diamond block that we got from defeating the Woodland Mansion. But like I said, we've been cultivating for so long, from our little start off of wheat and cows and whatnot, to now this entire place with fully decked out armor and all of that. Honestly, as frustrating as it has been, it's just a bit of blast at the same time. I accidentally clicked on the blast furnace. But anyway, I reckon with this fully loaded hotbar, and like I said, that wall back there, that just makes me happy to see it completed. I reckon I'm gonna call it there. So thank you for watching me beat Minecraft with no inventory. You know, if this is somehow your first episode and you're wondering what the hell is going on and why there's all this red stuff in my inventory, there should be a playlist up now to take you back to the beginning. It's been one hell of a ride, you know, and I never even put a door on my place, but you know, like I said, all are welcome here. You know, it's been quite the slog. I'm fairly sure this is the 52nd episode. So yeah, as you can see, there was quite the catalog if you wanna go and watch them. But anyway, maybe you just even want to subscribe so you don't miss what I do in the future. But all in all, have a good one. And with one final sleep, see ya.